What 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 kind of ministry do you have, sir? Don't be deceived that I was deceived. I was deceived. I was living in a same lifestyle, sodomy, homosexuality. I was deceived. Oh, I was on the highway to hell. I was living in sin. I was living unrighteous. I was a drunk. Oh, I threw my steroids, my crank, my meth. I was on the highway to hell. Oh, man, I'm doing better than I deserve. I deserve hell. I do better than I deserve because I deserve hell. I deserve God's wrath. I deserve God's judgment. Oh, I was in big trouble with a holy God of the universe. I was a liar, a thief. I used to look at my porno and have pleasure off it. I was wicked. I was deceived. But I had a friend tell me the truth. That homosexuality was sin. It scared the hell out of me, that, that homosexuality. It really scared the hell out of me. And I even had a past. And I was even abused too. But you know, I cried out to Christ Jesus. I surrendered for His blood, His mercy. He went to the cross for me. He went to the cross for you. That you don't have to die as a homosexual, a homosexual extremist. You don't have to die in your wickedness like I was. You don't have to die as a lesbian in your sin. It's great wickedness when we continue to rebel against God of the universe. It's time to wake up and realize that you're on the highway to hell. You're on the highway to hell when you rebel against God, when you continue to lie, when you continue to get drunk, when you continue to smoke the wacky tobacco, when you continue to look at porno, smoke dope, when you continue to be a homosexual, you are rebelling against God. You are rebelling. And it breaks my heart that I was in the same shoes and I'm here to warn you that Jesus Christ can set you free like he set me free of the same sin of sodomy, homosexuality. Jesus Christ came to set the captives free. You don't have to die as a homosexual and go to hell forever or a liar or a thief. If you're willing to repent, are you willing to humble yourself with godly tears of repentance and turn to Jesus Christ to be saved? I don't want to see you go to hell. I'm like a roadblock to warn you. Stop going around me. Turn back around and come to Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ can save your soul from hell. He laid his life down on the cross for you and me. He shed his blood for us. But you still want to continue to be a child of the devil. Or you want to be a child of God. The goodness of God brings a man or a woman to repentance. Are you willing to repent? And come to God's love and mercy and grace. Don't be deceived by your sin. Stop lying to your kids like the public school, like evolution. Homosexuality is just as bad. God did not create man and man, woman and woman. He created. He did not create Adam and Steve or Steve and Madam. He created Adam and Eve. No, I'm listening. Jesus Christ ordained the marriage between a husband and a wife. Jesus Christ set out a heart, overflows drunkenness and the word lasciviousness, which means sodomy, pervert, fornication. Also, fornication means it too, homosexuality. 
A lot of people are in bondage of sin. You're in bondage of sin. When you continue to lie, steal, masturbate, look at porno. When you can continue to live as a homosexual. You are storing up wrath against a holy God. God is angry at the wicked day. He's a consuming fire. He's like a burning oven. But also he's merciful and grateful. He's calling the wicked to repent. He doesn't take the pleasure and the death of the wicked. God wished that none perish, but all come to repentance. Are you willing to repent? Are you willing to humble yourself? Are you willing to stop living as a homosexual? Homosexual is a lie. It's wicked. And I used to be in the same wickedness. I used to live the same way. Don't be deceived. Stop being a criminal against God. You are in a bondage of homosexuality. You need to repent and get right with Jesus Christ. You need the blood of God to set you free of your sin. Turn to God and be set free. Only Jesus Christ can save your soul from hell that you can have life. You can be like a bird out of a cage. You can be free indeed. You don't have to die as a lesbian, a drunkard. You don't have to die as an unmodest dressed woman. The problem with lesbians, they want control. They want power of corporations. And then they start to mess with their mind. They actually want to be a man. And they start to dress like a man. And that's what's going on. The ladies are getting rebellious against God. They're stepping in authority of a man. And the man is doing the opposite. The man is taking the role of a woman. And that's what's going on. And that's what's going on. The man stepped down from his, his authority of the household. And he let the lady take over. And the lady takes over. Next thing she's a lesbian. Because she wants to be a man. And also I feel for some of these ladies, or a lot of them even, that got raped and abused as children. I was in the same shoes. But God can set you free if you trust Him. He can help you get through that circumstance. As He got me through the circumstance. And I learned to forgive that person. I learned to forgive. Because I care about them. There's only hope through Jesus Christ. Stop being lied to by silent witness, by the Metropolitan Church, by the Catholic Church. Stop being deceived by the Pope. Stop being deceived. You need to surrender, pull out the white flag and say, God, I give up. You need to surrender, young ladies and young men. You need to stop playing Russian roulette with your soul. You're playing games with your soul. You're just like you're spinning a barrel to your head. That's how much games you're playing with your soul. Like I did. It's like cancer creeps in. Cancer destroys your body. Just like homosexuality destroys your immune system. Because the body is not designed. Homosexuality has a high suicide rate. It's horrible. It messes with the brain. It even has ladies as pastors. You need to turn and be saved. I am saved of my wickedness. I am saved of my fornication. Jesus Christ came to set the captives free. You can be set free through the sun. You can be set free and be free indeed. Jesus Christ can set the sinner free, the homosexual of their sin, and be free of their wickedness, as God set me free of my homosexual sin. Oh, I was, I lived the same way. 
I should go to the homosexual clubs of Point Pleasant, New Jersey. I've been there. Oh, but Jesus Christ. Oh my God. So right went over and joined them. Oh, not no more. I don't enjoy wickedness, sin. I enjoy God's word. I enjoy worshiping God. I enjoy reading my Bible. Ladies, stop being rebellious against God and honor your husband. Repent. Women pastors, step down and give the authority back to men.